Hello everybody, my name is Gangov Sauder, head of department of the Charlotten Clinic Stuttgart, Germany. Today I would like to talk about presbyopic solutions, especially through the add-on progressive IOL implantation during cataract surgery. The knee and intermediate vision can be regained by means of implantation of the add-on progressive IOL either subsequently after cataract surgery or simultaneously during cataract surgery through the secondary implantation of the add-on IOL. In general, we have to consider that the treatment of presbyopia through an add-on implantation is reversible, which is relevant in 2-5% of multifocal IOL implantation when neuroadaption is an issue. The add-on progressive IOL has a square design with four flexible haptics, especially designed for fitting excellently in the ciliary sulcus, thereby providing excellent centration. The overall diameter is 13 mm and 6 mm optic with a convex concave optic design. The added power equivalent to replace intermediate and near function is 3.0 diopters at the IOL plane. Bifocal optics provide good near and intermediate visual acuity, but there is a weakness in intermediate distances. Trifocal optics try to compensate the intermediate weakness, but any additional diffractive structure causes additional light scatter. Consequently, an optimized depth of focus optic, an innovative progressive diffractive array, can be the best solution for presbyopia as realized with the add-on progressive. Any concerns that problems may occur as it happened in the past through the so-called piggyback technique, that means two IOLs inside the capsular bag, for instance, iris pigment dispersion, hyperopic shift, interlenticular opacification or iris capture are without any reason. The features of the IOL are cell stop no IOL touch through convex concave optic, sulcus fit through four flex haptic design, rotational stability through non torque design, no iris capture through square design. The implantation of the add-on IOL it's very easy. The IOL is positioned inside the cartridge in a reverse U position. I recommend dispersive viscoelastics inside the anterior chamber to allow the add-on IOL to unfold very soft and very controlled. The IOL is then positioned in the ciliary sulcus by rotating all four haptics. The rotation procedure is very important to ensure a proper alignment of all haptics inside the ciliary sulcus. The implantation of the first Q add-on progressive vision is a safe and efficient solution in case of presbyopia treatment.